Chairman, as we consider Subtitle E, I'm alarmed at how partisan this reconciliation process has become. Over the past year, we've seen that the most effective relief measures are those that have bipartisan support, like the Provider Relief Act. Working together over this past year, we, Republicans and Democrats, have been able to put over $4 trillion to work defeating this virus that a year ago we knew very little about. Now we're able to effectively have a vaccine that nobody thought would be possible uh, a year ago, and it's now being put in millions and millions of Americans' arms. We all want to ensure that healthcare providers and nursing facilities have, have the resources they need to keep their patients safe and defeat this virus. That's why we're supporting nursing homes and strike teams in a bipartisan basis in the CARES Act. Yet now we're moving in a rushed, partisan manner using a legislative shortcut without any analysis from the CBO or the Medicare trustees. Today, I'm proposing this amendment to ensure that Subtitle E will not be implemented until trustees certify that the Medicare Hospital Insurance Trust Fund and the rural health care providers it supports will not be worse off as a result of this legislation. Millions of seniors are covered by the Hospital Insurance or HI Trust Fund, which pays for critical services under the Medicare program, including inpatient hospital stays, post-acute care, and hospice. This committee has sole responsibility for the HI Trust Fund at the House of Representatives. Alarmingly, the Medicare trustees reports from April of 2020 states that the HI Trust Fund will become insolvent in 2026, and CBO projects it will be insolvent in 2024, just three short years from now. We must ensure that healthcare providers and their beneficiaries can continue to be covered without accelerating the anticipated insolvency of the HI Trust Fund. To be clear, this will not withhold funds from nursing home strike forces. They are continuing to receive funding as recently as December. And right now, every dollar counts with the HI Trust Fund solvency in question. This is simply a pause to acknowledge the dire straits Medicare is in and protect the program that so many seniors rely on. My state of Kansas is full of rural hospitals that serve the critical needs of Kansans in small towns and communities that draw funding from the HI Trust Fund. They have already faced challenges during this pandemic as shutting down our country took a toll on the rural hospitals in my district in Kansas. I've personally visited some of these small hospitals like Sedan City Hospital, which is nearly two hours away from a major city. Hospitals like these serve a vital role in making sure our rural communities have access to the care they need. My amendment makes sure that we don't inflict unintended consequences on our rural hospitals, some of which have incurred drastic losses due to COVID-19. This is a common sense amendment that protects the individuals living in rural parts of Kansas and throughout the country. We cannot continue to pay politics with the health care of hard working Americans. The HI Trust Fund has been in need of reform for years, and we cannot afford to jeopardize its solvency during a public health crisis. With that, I urge adoption of my amendment, and I yield back. Thank the gentleman. Let me.